now let's look into the pump parameter files in the pump parameter files typical parameters are passed through pass through means it will just send the records whatever the record is there in the extract primary extract trail file it will just send send it to the target as it is it doesn't do any mapping or conversions or transformations no etl work just pass as it is probably better performance sometimes uh, you can do the transformation or mapping at the target or you can do at the data pump okay if you are doing some column mapping at the data pump you have to comment out the pass through parameter okay so data pump it will uh, connect to the target server and sends the records to the target server so remote host which is the target server node 2 and you can specify manager port the pump sends the records the trail file records to the target target server first it will talk to the manager and get the server collector process assigned what manager on the target does is it will create the collector process there is a process called server.exe this is the collector process this is the one which collects the data from the pump but replicate says i don't know collector process manager creates the collector process dynamically every extract every pump first talk to the manager based on the request manager creates a collector process and assign that collector process to the data pump process to work with to exchange the data or to, to get the data transferred but sometimes you can have static collector for example there are eight pumps and if you are using manager port then manager will assign eight collectors on the target one collector for every pump so it will be one to one matching one to one uh, relation between the pump and the collector okay every pump will be sending its data to its corresponding collector on the target but sometimes you might want to prefer a static collector one collector collecting the data from all pumps so then you need to create a service on the target server and assign a dedicated port if you have a static collector running on the target uh, with the assigned port then you can say port some number this means the pump is directly working with static collector which is running on port 7843 most installations you will see manager port so first it will talk to the manager generally this is the default port for the manager it will talk to manager and manager creates the collector process and assign the collector process to this pump data pump compress the data and send it in the blocks to the target server target server the collector process receives the compressed data uncompress it writes it into the trail files on the target side there is additional cpu uh processing here to compress and uncompress basically it's uh, a lot less data one to four ratio if you compress it will become one fourth of data otherwise uh, canonical format uh, might occupy more space or the bandwidth problems there might be if, if there are too much of data uh, flowing to the target remote trail file where the remote trail file is going to be again uh, this is check pumps and no dynamic resolution just to verify the parameters wildcard uh, dynamic uh, wildcard dynamic uh, it it might not be necessary because the pump might not be needing in the pass through mode to verify the uh, metadata for the data in the canonic in the trail files so what are the tables that it is pumping this is completely configurable for example you might have two extracts one is capturing uh, employee table another one is capturing department table but you can define one pump which sends 
both tables you don't need to create two separate pumps one for employee one for department you can have two tables in one pump process you can have two extracts to capture two different tables so complete it is configurable there is no requirement that you need to have the same set of tables that you define in primary extract to be in the data pump parameter file no that's not the case manager this is the manager port there is one command um, which shows what are the ports that are assigned okay this is that command uh, when you execute this command it shows what are the processes that are running and what is the process id and what what is the port that it is using here ggec01 extract1 one, extract2 one, pump1 one, and pump2 it lists the child status child processes of the manager in order to see manager process info manager okay it says manager is running and it is running on the port 7809 if you want to see the process sub process or child process of the manager then you need to run this command so here this is the process id you can get the process id from the task manager but okay this is the you can see two extracts and two pumps the extracts and pumps are uh, extracts uh, you know a primary extract and secondary extracts okay so basically they are they are of extract type so four processes are running 2504 2508 2504 2508 2716 3760 you can see the process but you don't know which group it is which uh, primary extract it is you know that some extract is running but you don't know which extract exactly it is here you can see okay ggec01 group has the process id 2716 and it is executing on this port so if you want to kill you can go ahead and kill here okay for example if you want to kill ggec01 which is 2716 you can say end process here okay ec01 g1 is gone okay mm. Uh, sometimes uh, you can also say kill ggc 2 g 2 or you can force stop it sometimes you cannot force stop it you cannot kill it it, it might stuck somewhere recovering from the data in that case you have to use uh, force kill windows command okay so you may have to use this command so if you execute this command this will abruptly kill it no matter what let me do something here shell directory c you can run the shell commands from ggsei command prompt so you can say shell ggsei that means ggsei inside this another ggsei okay when you say exit you will come back to this okay so you basically to execute any shell command you can say shell and that command so here this is task kill windows command task kill and process id 3 whatever the process id for example okay we have we have two processes that are running two pumps in order to kill the pump i can say i can say kill 2508 or I can go to the task manager and kill that process. Sometimes you cannot kill like that. 
the final ultimate weapon is to use uh, task kill command 2508 sometimes it might not kill so that's why you have to say slash f to force kill that process it says the process terminated so that's gone okay so now there are two pumps running on the server let's give a title for this uh, what is this this is uh, node 1 title node 1 sorry tilt shell title node 1 okay so the the name for the command prompt is changed uh, so that we will know this is node 1 ggsei okay let's open up node 2 ggsei Okay, using PSExec tool, you can connect remotely to other servers. This is remote uh, to connect to a, a command prompt for the remote server. You, you can use PSExec. Okay, now I'm in the node one. Using PSExec, I'm connected to the node two server. there is uh, one replicate running so let's start the other replicate okay so we have two replicates running okay let's go to the You can see two replicates are running and there are two collectors that are running two collectors for two pumps now let's start the pump pump one if you stop the pump one then it automatically stops the uh, collector one now you can see where is it okay you can see one uh, server.ex is calm that is one one character is calm now i stopped all the pumps now you won't see any characters here so server.ex is calm okay but the replicates are still running Okay, so you can see that here you can see the two replicates run if you stop them then you will see that these two are gone okay so those are the typical parameters in the pump uh, 